This video is sponsored by Stateroom Statements, but more on that later. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today we are doing something kind of special. It's kind of weird that we're actually doing this. People have asked us to do this over and over and over. For like years now. Like literally years. But we're finally taking the plunge and trying out. What are we, what are we doing today? Today we are trying out for the very first time Virgin Voyages, which is actually one of America's adult only cruise line. 18 no plus, baby. No kids. 18 plus, does that mean it's a rated R cruise? I mean, that's what it does in the movies. Like you have to be 18, I believe. 17 for R rated. Oh. Basically R rated cruise, yes. And it makes sense why it will be an adult only. The theming is kind of adult only. A lot of sexual innuendos. I mean, there's an ice cream place called Lick Me Till I Scream. Yeah, and it's a pretty much like a party ship, at least from what we've seen. I want to find out if all the rumors about these ships are true. So let's get on this ship and check out Virgin Voyages for our first ever sailing. Kind of almost forgot. Laura, what are you wearing today? I am wearing Pink Lily. Nice, look One at that. One of my that. favorites. Honestly, it's kind of giving me a 70s vibe with the flowers and then you have like a flower thing in your head. Yeah. But it still looks nice though. I like the, Thank like the fit. Thank you. I think the shoes are from Pink Lily too, but it's just a cute little romper and super comfy. I love a good romper. Yeah, especially when it's hot as crap in Miami. Mm-hmm. You want to show off your fit? So I had to pull this out of the closet. We haven't worn this in a while, but this is obviously Kenny Flowers matching set. Really airy, really light. It actually feels like I'm not hot in it, which is nice. <sighs> it's finally cruise day again. You ready to get on board and get a drink? Yes. Didn't you say go. you one margarita? <laughs> Give it one margarita. I'm so one thing about Virgin Voyages that is different than what we're used to, also don't mind Laura, she has both bags, I have to hold the camera, is that they don't let us print out our boarding, like our baggage tickets. So either you drop it off over there or you have to take it and drop it off that way. This is definitely different. Yeah, but they'll put it on for you. Yeah, be mindful that you will not get printed bag tags when you book a cruise. That was pretty easy. That was very fast and efficient. But I think there's a line up here, so I'm not looking forward to that. It's over. like a mile long, so I'm hoping it's not for us. We may be able to get past it with the status that oh maybe i didn't even think about that looks like we can just go right in and don't have to wait in that line but also that line to get on the ship either ahoy sailor let's get in some air conditioning because it is hot i'm happy wow look at this it's nice and open and the light in here looks amazing it smells like a new car in here baby slice of pizza and a shot of tequila. I think this is a first for me. Wow, there's like a little lounge area that you can hang out. It's hot out here, but it's it's a, like an area you can just hang out by the ship. It's virgin right there. I like the theming already. I love all the red. Only thing that sucks though is I don't own a lot of red things. So yeah. I kind of feel weird that I'm not wearing a red boarding day outfit. Does this count? Yes, okay. all the dots. Cool. There we go, special privileges right here, baby. Since we transfer our status over, we got like special privileges. We don't have to wait in a long line over there. We have like VIP status. We're skipping a lot of long lines right now. Those are our room keys. They're bracelets. Laura has this every time we go on a cruise, but we don't need that anymore. Oh, cool. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, you're feeling naughty. So Laura's bracelet says feeling naughty. And I go over and look at my bracelet and turn it over. It says make a splash. Yours isn't as cool as mine. They have a whole bucket of feeling naughty over here. Oh, and there's also seize the day it looks like. So I got the best one. You did get the best one. Not enough air conditioning in the gangway. First thumbs down for me. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, my friend. That's right. Vacation. Right. That was yeah. the best. That was the best greeting we've ever had. Oh, yeah. I just got my first like real burst of excitement. Wow, we've got a Ooh. I feel like we're at the Georgia Aquarium right now. So I realized our mics weren't really plugged into our camera, so I apologize for if the audio sounds bad for the first couple clips because that's on me. 1409Z, the penthouse. You want to do the honors? I do, nothing to rip open this time. You can rip off your breast, your breast. <laughs> I don't, you can rip off your bracelet. Chill. Ready? Yeah, here we go. Let's see what this room looks like. Oh, oh, look at that. We got a balcony room. 
Look at that. They're just opening automatically. That was pretty cool. You think that happens every time we go in the room? I hope so. It's just like, welcome to the room. I am not mad at this room. I thought I wasn't gonna like it because it was so minimal, but it's actually not that bad. Very refreshing in here. Yeah. It's, it's not like anything else we've seen. Since we haven't eaten anything in a while, I think we're just gonna go and get some food and then come back and do the room tour and enjoy life. Before we do anything at all, we need to crank the air conditioner. Oh, all the way down. how did I forget that? Okay, hopefully it's not in Celsius, as is tradition. Oh, it looks pretty simple. Come on! Boom. Okay, let's go get some food. So we finally made it to the galley, and this is a cool premise. If you guys don't know, they have a lot, this is an apple obviously, but they have a lot of grab and go type stuff if you don't feel like waiting, because they don't do the buffet. I have not seen this on any other ship, exactly. ship line. Like you can literally grab a veggie wrap right now if you wanted it. See Laura, this is what I was talking about with like the sexual innuendos. You want to grab a quickie real quick? I think anytime we come to the galley while we're on the ship, we're going to say let's, let's have a quickie. Here's another one. You want to tap that cold? Or if you have a if you don't like cold, you can tap that hot. All right, come on, let's go eat. I'm like a 12 year old boy. You are, this whole crew. One thing that I really love about this right now is that just like Disney, all the Coke products right now or on this voyage are free, so we don't have to buy like a soda package or anything. So nice. I think that saves you a lot of money. I mean, I guess it's built into the price, but still. Feels like you're saving money. I'm trying to figure out why does this buffet not feel so chaotic? Why does this feel really calm? And I had no clue that you actually sit down and order your food and a waiter brings it to you. Scan one of these codes here, one for food, one for beverage, and it pulls up the whole menu and they'll bring you pretty much anything from anything that you saw up there. And then when you're ready to order, you just raise this little flag and they'll come and take your order. So I couldn't get you a drink, so I got myself a Sprite. What I did, have, they have sushi bento boxes. So you can just pick them up and just go to your table. So I got you a cucumber one. And I think I got shrimp. Thank you, love. It's kind of cool that we can like snack on something while we wait for our meal. So I was thinking about getting some ramen, but after looking at that burger, this looks like a good old traditional, like I'm in the middle Georgia, small town. Uncle Frank just hooked it up on a grill and those fries are thick with three C's. I just wasn't expecting that whole. <laughs> backstory. Ramen sounds too hot right now. It does, but the ramen sounds so good. Like there's a spicy curry ramen. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. Mmm, it's crispy. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so Laura, um, please don't ever ask for any of my food anymore if I can't even get a fry. That was a little harsh and my feelings are kind of hurt. You need to relax. I want to be mad at what just happened, but I'm actually kind of like surprised and kind of, I don't know, I'm impressed because that was really smooth. I'm impressed with myself too. Have you looked at like the cruise compass schedule at all? Um, not really. Okay, I just want to know like when all the sex stuff starts happening, when I need to get ready. I didn't even know you were vlogging. <laughs> Do you know, is it like, like six o'clock? Is it later after dinner? Okay, so after the drama party. This is the wrong cruise for me to be, be on. Quiet. The sex cruise. People can hear you. <laughs> Stop. I know Laura showed this earlier, but I just want to reiterate, you have to put the flag up for them to come over to you. Cause I was like just sitting here waiting for her to come back and she never did. And then like 10 minutes later, I was like, oh yeah, I gotta do that. All right, I got my drink. You got your drink. You know what time it is? I do know what time it is. All right, go for it. Hi, I'm Laura and this is my first drink of the day. Hi, my name is Fane, and this is my first drink of the day. I'm actually trying to espresso martini. I've never had one before, but Laura's always looks That's good. not part of the script, Fane. Sorry. That strong flavor. Mm. It's about to be litty titty. <laughs> Did you catch it? That's what L's and T's stand for. Live your life, have fun, turn up, vacation mode. Throwing some L's and T's around. Cheers, baby. Sorry. Cheers, baby. After I ordered the burger, I also ordered some ramen. Because every time I watch Rich and Jazz, Rich always recommends getting some ramen. And so I was like, you know what? Let me see if it's actually good. Laura, the funny thing about this is, is that we usually go get this type of food with Rich and Jazz on oh, our yeah. lunch days. So it's just like, kind of like paying homage to that. But it looks like really good. Here. I'll try the broth first. <laughs> Here, take take this spoon right here. Try this broth right now. I know I gave I know it gave you a lot, but just try. It's a little spicy. 
spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> Who would have thought a cruise ship can make nice ramen? I am feeling so much better now that we ate. We're gonna chill out in the room a little bit. Still gonna do a room tour, but first we have to watch our safety video. I heard it's pretty cool. This is like an iPad thing. Wait, does this control the TV? Tap play. Oh, dope. This controls the TV. I think it controls the lights in the room too, doesn't it? Maybe. This is a new age, modern, sail away mustard drill video. Seems like one I'll actually want to watch. I wouldn't record it, but a lot of people already have shown this in the last couple years, so you guys are most likely have seen this. But definitely different. Now that we're feeling much better, are you ready for the room tour? Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's hit it. Look at that, I did that with this. Well, hello there. Welcome to my virgin villa. That sounds really weird. But yeah, come on in. First off, we're gonna start off with this room tour, showing you something that's pretty cool and very important. If you look down here, there is a, hey, make up my room, or hey, I'm sleeping, do not disturb. As you guys can see, virgin's very different when it comes to like storage and all that. It's very minimal. So all you have is this like kind of curtain. It's kind of transparent. And this is all the storage unit pretty much you have with the closet. It's like a shelf. They have these nice metal hangers. I know you were saying something about how these are like nice because they won't slip off. Yes. They have a couple baskets down here, but like really nothing to write home about. Ooh, they got a nice full length mirror. Boom. And then in here, they have some life jackets, a safe, a hair dryer. They also have some drawers that are slam proof, even though there's no kids on here. They're drunk adult proof. Exactly. Then if you come over here, there's another full length mirror. Over here, we have the thermostat. You guys saw this earlier. It's just a pretty much a basic button. You just tap. Now let's check out the bathroom. Hmm. This is my first time ever seeing it. You can't really come in here. So there's a shower. It's kind of tight, but it's a rainfall shower head. Let's see how it works. And then obviously like your sink and your toilet. That's it's a pretty tiny bathroom. Super tiny. <laughs> And then we make our way past the bed to show off the bed. I thought this was storage up here, but this is just an accent. They have king size bed. You can see the little divide in the middle. It has it's two twins, so pushed together. Not sure what that is. You can see our luggage is kind of like packed over there, so we can't really show you guys that. I think that's like a table. Yeah, a little armrest. And then there's another table because this can turn into a couch. So that would make sense that that's an armrest. And something really unique about this bed is how low it is to the ground. And then that's the thing that sucks, honestly, about this room. Like one of the things I'm not a fan of is that we cannot put our luggage underneath this bed because it will yeah. not fit. So the luggage is gonna take up space. I mean, it's, it's not a long sailing, but it's just kind of weird. Then there's a TV right there. And then over here, there's like a desk area where we can like sit and do work. The really cool thing that you guys saw us messing with earlier is this pad. It pretty much controls the lights in the room or pretty much anything in the room. We can make it darker. We can close the shades. You can turn the TV on. I don't know, you can just do a lot of stuff. You can watch the movies on here. You can call for service. It's actually really cool. We have in Wi-Fi routers in each room, which is dope. Over here, we have a bottle of natural water. Below here is the ice chest. So that's mainly our room, but obviously you guys wanna see this balcony veranda area. So let's take you outside. I don't think I can do any cartwheels on this, but the classic everyone from Virgin likes and knows and appreciates, it's this, I think I'm doing it right. It feels really weird and it's a lot, like I feel really awkward. Graceful. Yeah, seriously, but it's it's not bad. It's pretty comfortable actually. It looks pretty secure up there. And then like basic chairs. So like there's no like frills about the room, but they are like nice and spacious. So what do you think about the room? I think it's pretty nice. The only thing I don't really like is like the storage situation, but other than that, I pretty much like the room. I just think it's unique and it's nice to see something that doesn't look like everything else. Now if they can add two bathrooms like Disney, we'll be set. Now that our drill is done, time for some ice cream at Lick Me Till I Scream. I don't know if I can eat any right now, but oh, I will, I'll have a little lick of yours. Am I doing a go in solo dolo? Dolo dolo. Here's some of the ice cream flavors. I think I'm gonna go for this pistachio because that's what I usually go for. So sorry, you might have to get your own. Cool. There we go. Thank you. Cool there we go. Ooh, it looks creamy. Tastes pretty, tastes pretty good. You wanna? I like this, but you have to scream. It's going. <laughs> Aren't you clever? Now that we're up top on the Lido deck, it is kind of weird how quiet it is. Like, I don't hear any kids running around. Like, do you hear this noise? What noise? Exactly. But at the same time though, because there's more adults, there's the bar is more crowded. Yeah, every single bar we've walked past has been 
pretty, pretty crowded. Also, a little side note: when Virgin's docked here, they don't have the AC on in the in the cruise, so it gets really hot really quickly. Pouring sweat all day. Do you want to go walk around and check what's up? Cause I know that the sail away is happening soon, but we can just go walk around and see I want what's some up. Champagne. What type of bench is this? Is this like a lounge bed bench? This is a normal bench. And then you have this, I've never seen anything like that. Even in anybody's videos, I haven't seen this like- This is what you see when you're sober. And this is what you see after you eat some mushrooms. How do you know what mushrooms do? Oh, I found the infamous netting that literally you can see all the way to the bottom. Well, I guess to the next deck and then the wake. Ooh. I feel like that'd be a really cool shot, but oh, I heard it's you. extremely uncomfortable to like lay on those. It is kind of freaky. Cause you can see, right down in the wake. You wanna come out here with me? Yeah, this is a cool picture though. I wanna get a shot of you. So we're getting ready for the sail away party, but I think I spotted the champagne. It's all the way over there in the corner at the bar. That's what we're really here for. Is it time to shake our phone? No, I don't wanna pay for it. Let's get it for free first. Okay, fine. But they have a whole DJ set up, like Vegas nightclub. Yeah, we need to make some L's and T's. Thank you. Hey. Guys. Finally got our free champagne. Cheers. Cheers. They're just literally walking on platters full of champagne, just handing them out. And all this champagne is free, right? I hope so. It better be. Bottoms up, right? Virgin doesn't have a cruise director. They have a happenings pass, I believe. A happenings pass, is that what it's called? That's and so it's like a bunch of people that just brings the energy to the party. So right here, we have two happenings pass. And I believe the one in the red right here is kind of like the leader. And right now they're trying to do the wave. You have to have a lot of energy to do this job and be like a natural performer, I feel like, because... I think we're going to do the wave this side. I think she's telling her we're going to do this side. All right, I think we're going this way. So get ready, Laura. Whoa. Laura, uh, Laura, what just happened? Did we just get invited to the secret party? Oh my God, is this what this is? Yeah, he just handed us a card and we got invited to a secret party. Wow. Didn't Vanessa talk about this? Yeah, and Joe and Gabby. We haven't even sailed away. We're still circling in Miami. And it was because of your hair. Yep. Tomorrow's secret party. I just think we're just doing circles and circles and circles. I don't think we're leaving yet. Oh my gosh. Where'd you get three glasses from? <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> What is up guys, Editor Fane here. I noticed with all the excitement of getting on our first adults only virgin cruise, we forgot to say, if you're new here and you're hopefully enjoying the content, or if you wanna see what else we get into on virgin voyages, go ahead and hit that like button down below and also subscribe. Go ahead and start your seven day trial. It's free. You know what? You can always unsubscribe later. Hassle free. But if you're feeling a little bit more frisky, go ahead and click that join button down below and join our YouTube memberships or the Patreon link in the description down below for a few added perks. It really does help support the channel so we can keep bringing you content like this. But in all serious, thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Now back to the video. There she is, Royal Caribbean. We're passing our home, Laura. Hi, home. I miss you. We literally don't have any book right now. We won't be setting foot in that building until January 27th, 2024. And Icon will be sitting right there. Let's just jump ship right now and go wait on the dock for the next Royal ship to pull up. We got a new home now, and it's all red. Mom, can you come pick me up? I'm scared. I 100% see why people said that we were gonna like this cruise. This party, honestly, is on like DJQ level from Carnival. Sells and teas all the way. Come on, Laura. I know you watch TikTok. What? I know you watch TikTok, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. 
that sail away party was pretty lit, I have to admit. So now we're down here while no one's here, everyone's still up on the top deck, looking for a bar to take some shots, right? Yeah. But can you help me find the bar at all? I'm trying to help you, but the app is stuck on this. We heard stories about the app crashing and not being really, really buggy. And it was working fine, honestly, when we were at home. But like now, it's like, oh. It's been stuck like this for five minutes. And I yes, I opened and closed it. So, I don't know. That's so weird that it w doesn't work on the ship. But at home, it works fine. We'll have to use a good old fashioned directory or map. You want to get my Rolodex out or something? Get the, my, the dual uh, decimal get system? Get my Blackberry out. I think the cruise is finally official. We got two lemon drops. I don't have it any other way, honestly. I don't remember the last time we started off with the lemon drops, to be honest. I know, usually we just go straight up tequila. Back to our roots. I did find, though, that no other cruise ship that I've been on has Casamigos. So, we will be getting some Casamigos while we're on the ship. Unless it's too expensive. But then again, we'll probably still get it. See what it costs. You want to do the honors? Sure. Cheers to a good cruise. Cheers. As is tradition. I think the one thing that's wrong with these elevators is that there's no airflow and it's super hot in here. And these like um, screen things are really warm. So that's just another thing to be wary of when you're on Virgin is that it can be a little bit warm on the elevators or in the ship in general. So we're about to head out to our first dinner on the Scarlet Lady. And I think before we do that, we need to talk about this video's sponsor and longtime channel sponsor. Yes, this sponsor for this Virgin video is, of course, Stateroom Statements. You know them, you love them. They make the absolute best and clever cruise magnets. We've been working with them for a while. They even got dope t-shirts and just like other props like that. T-shirts, cups, all yep. kinds of apparel, and they can also make personalized magnets. So if you're going on like a bachelorette trip or an anniversary trip, they can personalize that for you. I mean, you guys saw it on Celebration when we had these little pop culture styled magnets, personalized with Laura's name on it. This one is so dope. Midship Managed, Celebrity Equinox, May 2023, 20, the Travel Street family. And we have these managers with our names on them. If you guys know, you know. All right, we got about 10 minutes till dinner time. So let's go get decorate our door with these awesome magnets. Which one are we starting with first? I feel like it's only fitting being on Virgin Voyages that we start with this one. Oh yeah, baby. Well, wrong way, Laura, this way. Stool. And then my second favorite are personalized travel spree magnets. Of course, of course. And right now we're at 30. And then we're gonna get soup of the day. Two bottle minimum. I pity the fool. I'm the captain now. Our little travel spree magnet. And then of course the OG, OG stateroomstatements.com. The superstars themselves. This is not, obviously you guys have seen different magnets that we've had. These are not all of them, but these are some of the best that we have. They have a huge selection and you should definitely go check them out using the link in the description down below. And you can use code travel spree, all caps, travel spree 15 for 15% 15 off your order. All right, let's go get ready for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, am I in a P. Diddy Mace 90s music video? I know you probably don't know what that means. I was gonna say, it looks like we're in a music video, so yeah. close enough, you know? Literally, this is dope. I love this. Instagram! Wow, this is like actually like really cool. I love this. For dinner tonight, we chose to go to Pink Agave, which is pretty much the Tex-Mex place on Virgin. Here's the menu. Is that real crickets? Oh, snap, I gotta try that. And this should be covered within the cruise, like your cruise fair, because there's no specialty restaurants all in Virgin. All the food on this ship is included. Laura, I want to try, it's like crickets in here. First page. <laughs> oh my God. First I saw Mezcal and that was bad enough. And then I saw crickets. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. What is this, a Christmas story? A little dancey dance. I don't know, the music has been hidden. It smells so good. It's the cinnamon sugar around the rim. Alright, let's see Fane's after drink space. Tastes like pineapple juice. That's very dangerous. It was Kyle Palo would say a chugger. I can put this in my funnel and just funnel it. Here, try this. It's gonna be your new Goombay smash. Try it. Like, let's see how you like it. It just smells so good. There's exactly, right? I've never had anything like that. It's smooth. Like I don't it's taste any of It's almost like an apple juice a little bit, like a cider, apple cider. But it has gin in it. Exactly. I can't tell there's alcohol. That's 10 out of 10. Yeah. Would recommend. Very good. And it has begun. We have ordered too much stuff for the table. It looks pretty. We have some shrimp, some tuna, some potatoes. 
some guacamole, an enchilada, and then what is that again? Corn? It's basically like a street corn mixture. So we pretty much finished that, finished our appetizers. We didn't get a main course. We just got the medium. What do you think about it? I thought it was pretty good. I think I liked everything. The enchilada was just okay. It wasn't like amazing or over the top, but it was still like good. My favorite though was the corn and the guac was pretty good and the potatoes. You know what I like about this? We only got like some apps and desserts. So we have room for like, if you want to get pizza later or like the all you can eat, well not all you can eat, but like the all day breakfast. I'm not upset about it. Cause I'm not full. Like we usually are on other cruise ships. Talk dirty to me. Pizza, midnight, alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we can get some pizza, jeez. Stop recording. <laughs> if you guys are curious to see what they have for dessert, here it is. Is this a date night? She gave us one dessert with two spoons. <laughs> Now all we need is a drink with two straws. Oh, or some uh, one string of spaghetti. Bon appetit. <laughs> it looks really good. Laura, I promise I was with you this whole time and I didn't do that. I don't believe you. I literally was with you at dinner. What are you talking about? I know, but I feel like when I turned around to walk to dinner, you did this. No, I promise you, I did not do that. <laughs> what is this called again? The Untitled Dance Party Show Thing. There's a huge pink whale on stage. There's a stage right here. There's a stage right there. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be interactive. It's supposed to be pretty wild and you're going to find out. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? It was fire. That was incredible. I truly loved it. And it was so like interactive. Like definitely made me a little uncomfortable at times because they would get like right in your face. Yeah. But that was the point of the show. And we stood at the very front, so that was our fault. I would definitely recommend doing that because... Yeah. I wouldn't do it any other way again. I would stand at the very front again. You've seen shows on Disney and you've seen shows on Royal and Carnival. Nothing like that. Not at all. I think my favorite part was probably the playlist. There was some like EDM, there were some classics in there too, but it just was like the dancing. The dancing and the music, which it, it the did, whole show. But. It did make me feel a little nervous because I had to come out of my shell a little bit to enjoy it, but if you do go to that show, don't just stand there, like interact, clap your hands, talk to people. One girl like got right in my face, she was like, is this too close for you? <laughs> I was like, what'd you say? I didn't hear her. And she was like, is this too close for you? And I was like, uh, uh. She goes, too bad and ran away. So it was very, very interactive, but that's why it was fun. Now we are off to change our clothes and go to the PJ party. BJ's. Did you say BJ's? No, what the? Laura, you're making this cruise more R-rated than it needs to be. You are. <laughs> you're like just like, well, you don't really wear pajamas like that. So no, I, I feel really strange. I usually just wear like a t-shirt and like comfy shorts. I feel like I'm a bridesmaid right now about to get ready for my friend's wedding. I don't know. I kind of don't feel that fancy. Like I, don't, I feel like I'm just gonna like get ready for Christmas morning or something. What the hell is this? I said we're gonna do matching outfits and then like pull this out, so. You literally made me wear this. I didn't make you wear it. You wanted to do the pajama party, so I got you pajamas. And now you're just going rogue on me. Sorry about it, fam. Do you want to get invited to another party or not? I'm trying to put out the effort. The betrayal. Before we head to the pajama party, like we promised, we have to go do a shot for Shannon. Because we said we do the one in the lot. We just keep forgetting. Yes dedicated to I'm Titanium Shannon. This one is for you, Shannon. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> I feel like I psyched myself out with this now. <laughs> Here's to Shannon. Thank you, Shannon, Thank you, for everything. Shannon. Appreciate the super chat. Oh. How are you? Not the worst one. Not too bad of a turnout. It's just pretty chill. I guess I should maybe put my my whole hood on. Of course, it's getting a little chilly, you know. 
Is this what you wanted? Yeah. Look how cute he is. What are those? They are my Crocs. It feels like I'm back in college and it's just like we're standing on this above everyone else. After 20 minutes, we finally got some subpar seltzers. I'm sorry I made you wait that long. I mean, it's not your fault, but honestly, if you're gonna come to this party, maybe drink before yeah. and then come, because the bar scene is not it here, to be honest. In a sweat, I'm surfing. The black person national anthem right there. Payne looks so cool right here with like the purple smoke behind him, like he's on an album cover or something. The one thing that I have noticed that is honestly kind of undeniable is that it seems like more than any other cruise, this cruise since it's like adults, it's like more sexual tension. And I know it's not just me and I know I'm not crazy, but it's just something about- hey, and you? Well, just everybody. No, but uh, for real though, like it just seems like everyone's like more like loose and ready to have fun. I feel like this is a cruise of like whatever happens, happens. I could see that if you're single. Yeah. What I am very surprised about though is the fact that everything, I looked at like the schedule tonight and most everything ends like 1.30 to 2 a.m. I know that sounds late, but I thought for a cruise like this, it'd be like 3, 3 o'clock. Yeah, it's like a Miami club vibe. Know. Maybe because it's the first night, things are closing early. Of course, we could not end the night without Laura getting some pizza. They had to try it. I mean, they've never really, tried it before. It really looks really good, so I'm excited for it. But guys, that is it for our first day ever on a Virgin Voyage cruise. It has been fun. A little synopsis, what would you say? Like, for me, overall, this cruise seems like a fun party cruise. Boutique hotel slash Vegas, like, rooftop bar. And then also, the ship is just, like, really warm all the time. I think that's my biggest con today is the air conditioning of the ship, which I mean, I guess that's a good thing to have that as my biggest con. Yeah, but other than that, like the ship's pretty cool. Hopefully the food is still banging like you saw earlier. About to pass out. Before we do that, I just want to give another huge shout out to Stateroom Statements for sponsoring this video. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the link in the description down below to check out some magnets or even get some personalized magnets for your next cruise. You can use code TRAVELSFREE, all caps, 15, for 15% 15 off your order. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Kiwas! Don't your body feel so tired.